Hey there, you're probably here for some DaVinci Resolve effects, right? Well, I'm here to deliver. But there are thousands of effects in DaVinci Resolve and it's impossible to fit them into our own video. So I've picked 5 of them and put them all together. And they are so quick and easy to do that you can save your some time and spend it with your family. Or you can watch some of my other DaVinci Resolve tutorials. Sky Replacement For this effect I'm having two videos on my timeline and I want to use the sky from video number one. So for that reason I leave it under the other one. I'm going to open effects and I'm looking for 3D here and I'm dragging it and dropping it over the clip number two which is the one that I want to remove the sky. Then I'm clicking the down menu of this icon and I'm selecting open effects overlay and then I'm dragging a line over the sky so that it can be removed. Photo effect. For this effect you need to follow only 3 steps in order to make it. So we're gonna start out by making a freeze frame. You can go to the part of the video where you want this camera effect to appear and make a razor cut there. Then right click on the second part of it. Select change clip speed. Click on the freeze frame and then change. That was the first step. Now with the second one. Go to effects library, find adjustment clip and leave it over the timeline. While you're still in the effects library, look for colored border. Then take it and leave it over that adjustment clip. After that you can reduce the duration of that adjustment clip until it fits the freezed frame one. And now it's time for the last step. Going back to effects library, taking another adjustment clip and leave it above them. And make sure the length of this adjustment clip is passing through part number one and part number two of the clip. Because we're gonna use it as a transition. Then going back to effects library, filters and then we're looking for color generator. Then drag it and drop it over the second adjustment clip. Then highlight it and go to inspector. Select the effect because we want to modify a little bit this color generator. I'm leaving it color white. And on global blend we're gonna make a keyframe. I'm reducing it to zero. Then creating a keyframe. Then moving one frame forward. Bringing it back to 100. And then move one frame forward and bring it back to zero. And I forgot to mention that these keyframes needs to be placed in between the clips. And if that is too much for you, you can just use a bright flash transition in the end of the first clip. Inverted text. For this effect we're gonna use fusion. I promise it's not complicated. So let's get started with the fusion composition. Leave it over the desired clip. Adjust the length of it and go to the fusion tab. When you get there, you need to add only two nodes, which are text node and a background node. And once you have them on your node panel, connect them to each other, which will automatically create a merge node. You want to get that merge node and connect it to your media out. Then highlight your text node and on your keyboard press number one. That way you can see your text displayed on your left side. Then go to the inspector and you can add the text that you want. Also you can add a fancy font, adjust the size and etc. And then after you finish setting up all the details on the text, you want to highlight the merge node. Then go back to the inspector and on the operator you want to select HOR which as you can see on the right side it will give you the transparency of your text. And then all you need to do is put a background under that clip. In my case I'm having these mountains. Green screen removal. I'm having two videos on my timeline. One of them is the green screen the other one is the background. I'm going to open effects. And I'm looking for 3D here, which I'm leaving over the green screen footage. Then I'm selecting the down menu of this icon. And then I'm selecting open effects overlay. And same as the first effect on the mountains, I want to drag a line over the area that I want to remove. All the black spots on the screen is gonna be removed. And the white ones are gonna stay. And after this procedure, I still have some green left on the hair. So I'm going to the inspector, selecting the effects button. And then I'm selecting the down menu on mate and finesse. Now I want to hide the left of the green. And the metrics are depending on the clip, but mainly you want to play with clean black, clean white and in and out ratio. Just as you see that I'm doing right now, in my case, I almost got rid of 100% of the green. I spent it there just a few seconds, but I'm sure that if you stay there for a minute or two, you will get rid of 100% of the green. And now for the last one, it is not fancy, but I think it's needy for everyone. And that is to add a timer or a clock. You just need to get a text plus title from the effects library, highlight it. Then open inspector, right click on the text area and then go down and select timecode and this will transform the text into a clock. This clock is with 4 metrics. The first one is hours, 
minutes, seconds and milliseconds. If you want to get rid of the hours, you just need to go to the inspector and using the same method as the writing text effect, you have to pull from the left to the right the right on matrix, just as you see me doing right now, and that will corp the left side of it. And now it is gonna only count the milliseconds and the seconds. Also, if you want to remove the milliseconds, you go again on right on, but this time pull the right dot towards the left side and you will have minutes and seconds left. That was it, let me know in the comments if you did enjoy this video, what you wanna see next and also check out this video right here, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Also don't forget to like, subscribe for more and see you in the next one.